How's it going, everybody? We're Jason and Jason with Horizon Productions here in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, which lately has been the hotbed of VR in the East Coast. Apparently so. Uh, we've been very fortunate to be a part of Google's Jump program from very early on and uh, have this guy, the GoPro Odyssey, a 16 camera rig that lets us shoot 3D stereoscopic 360 video. And when we got this, this was a big uh, coup for us. It was something that we were really excited to get. We're still excited to have it. Uh, worked extensively with Google's VR team to make sure we could secure that originally. And it's, it's been great for us. Um, but we're here today because we just got a nice present in the mail. Um, a couple of them, actually. Let's pop this guy up here. Oh. <laughs> The Yi Halo. Uh, this is the we assume anyway. Well, I mean, it says it on the box. I mean, <laughs> so it's uh, hopefully it's in there. That's if, right. If it's not, we're in trouble. This is the second generation of the jump yeah. platform camera. Um, came out from uh, our friends over at Yi in uh, conjunction with Google's VR team. So, and the really neat thing is we're about to open up the first one out in the wild. Yeah, there's been a couple that have been out there for a couple of companies that were helping Google do some testing, uh, but this is uh, probably the first one that's out there in uh, commercial use. All right. All right, so uh, I'm going to pop this puppy open. I right. got a little tire up over here. You want to do the honors of that side? Yeah, sure. All right. All right. I'm waiting for some sound effect like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got one of those on the other side, too. This guy right there. Yep. Oh, man. The moment. Oh. Wow. Okay. All right. What have we got here? Um. Well, first, I mean, this is a, scr is a screwdriver here. <laughs> I guess uh, they gave us the tools we're gonna huh. need to work on this thing. All right. Would well, you want to move this off to the side? We'll pick them out piece yeah, by piece. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Let's take that guy. Drop him down. Gently. All right. Let's okay. start with the. Uh, How's it feel? Man, it is light. Is it light? Especially, uh, yeah. Compared, oh my goodness. <laughs> compared to this guy. It's almost concerningly light. Yeah, right. That's yeah. just, you feel like you're going to lift it too quick. Man, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, nice industrial design throughout. Um, it looks oh, like there's even little levels built into the sides of it. Nice. Yeah. Fear is uh, definitely a big factor. I don't know if you can get this. The up camera. We have tried numerous things to uh, solve, not that issue, but to add that in production. And it's it's always been a challenge in the field. So Absolutely. Yeah. That's going to be a huge help. That's a big help. So this is a 17 camera rig versus the 16 camera in the Odyssey. Um, uses uh, some slightly different technology in the cameras, but um, you know works on that same jump algorithm. So, of course, if you're unfamiliar with the jump platform through Google, uh, the biggest benefit of that is that we take all the footage, we upload it to Google, and they stitch all of it, and it gets back to us within 24, 48 hours. Uh, perfectly stitched 8K 3D 360 footage. Yeah. Um, 8K by 8K. 8K by 8K, yeah. So it's so dense that we're having trouble running it on things. So. so the other thing this one has that the Odyssey does not is this LCD monitor. So the LCD on here uh, gives you a, let's see, You've got that there. The LCD on here gives you a bunch of information and lets you know the uh, card readouts, I'm, I'm fairly sure. Um, uh, I think it's probably going to be where we're going to change all the settings and stuff yeah. rather than having to do it through um, the previous setup, which had like a master camera on the Odyssey. Um, you had to go to a single camera and modify them, and it would kind through of Through regular up. GoPro menu settings, yeah. which, uh, and it took a little time for all of them to register mm -hmm. and those kind of things. Supposedly, this... Uh, treats each camera separately, lets you monitor each one individually, yeah. and even has a time-lapse mode, which would have been great for that sunrise shot we did uh, recently. Yeah, yeah, that would have been very helpful. <laughs> Let's save this from recording for an hour and a half to just get uh, 10 seconds of footage. So let me see. Where, are, uh, where are we putting in the memory cards? SD cards? Is it? It's, I mean, it's got to be close to the camera. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, man, this is so great. Oh, this, this card's in there already. Wow, that was... Thank you very much. That was very kind. Um, this 64, is a, 64 gigs. This is a huge help. On the Odyssey, they're actually underneath the camera, which not that big a deal. Usually you take the this. camera off and flip it up, but you know, yeah. even even that, sometimes you try and do it quickly, and then you have cards on the floor, which yeah. you know is never a good thing. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is great. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah. I still can't get over how light it is. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, this probably doesn't have the battery in it, right? So the battery in the box? 
I hope. <laughs> Give us a battery. There's not much room. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my goodness. All right, so. <laughs> That's the battery. Wow, this is a huge deal. Actually, the we, opposite you know, we of have the other. Uh, oh, here. Here's the, uh, here's the battery for the Odyssey that we've been using. Um, All right, so we go from <laughs> this got taking some this to thing it. Yeah. around to putting this in, which I want to say I read something about it just slides in or something. Oh, here we go. So, oh, man, that's, that's nice. That's it. Just snaps in. I cannot believe okay. this is. Let's see. Production sure ready right wrap. there with the battery. It slides right into the base right there, um, down here. It looks like there's a there's a power port on either one, so it probably has a it must have a cable that actually goes from here to the battery itself. This is just like a battery holder. Um, so we come with some. Got some cables. We got an individual cable. I'm guessing this uh, this guy may be our guy. All right, let's see what that looks like. Um, oh wow! Even gave us some. Uh, Extra individual cameras. Man, these things are light. Oh, those are spares? Hmm. Practically uh, just a mm -hmm. sensor. I'm guessing they've removed the power. Actually, on the Odyssey, one of the things that they did was remove the batteries from each individual camera. Hmm. Uh, it's all powered from a single source, much like this one. So, yeah, these, these guys are light. Oh, and then this down here. Oh, but there we go. So there's an output and there's an input. Oh, so I guess you could actually plug an AC adapter. Does this have a AC adapter in there for somewhere? Mm. Oh, there we go. So we can plug it in directly. It looks like. Yeah. All right. So we've got you know we've got an AC adapter for that. So I guess that's also we could charge it. Probably charge it while it's running. Even or you know. this. <laughs> this is oh, so oh it's, it is a it's either looks a like horse a pill or small <laughs> remote. Which again. Being able to control this thing uh, from elsewhere is a big deal because every time you fire the Odyssey or now the Halo, we basically have to hide. A lot of times it's underneath or finding you know running away and letting it run. But and and you, usually what will end up happening is we have to go back to the device and power it on and off, which means we've got overrun that we don't need and we end up having to cut that off anyway. So if we could just trigger it from far away and then click it back off. I mean, that's, that's a, that's a time savings on the back end as yeah. well. And overrun's a big deal with these cameras. I mean, uh, half an hour is a terabyte of footage. Uh, no. Other way around. Other way around. Yeah, hour, yeah. Hour, 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 hours, hours, is, yeah, 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 is yeah. half a terabyte. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a lot of, <laughs> still, still a lot. Yeah. And especially when you have to upload it somewhere for them to stitch, um, that upload process is one of the longest portions of it, depending upon the connection. And typically upload speeds are a little bit lower than download speeds. So it's, uh, any any bit of time savings is, is worth it. I'm assuming that's some kind of quick start instruction manual. I like the branding. Like it's nice little simple. Oh, got some more tools mm. built in. And looks like that. we have one other. Is there another? Is, what's there another tool here? We, we pull everything out of there. And, All right. And and they, then they gave us another that red screwdriver. So apparently they're kind of preparing you for any situation. <laughs> Wow, those are some tiny screws. I wonder what those are for. Maybe the individual cameras? Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what we got here. It's like a business card case. Oh, sweet. All right, this is pretty cool. It is kind of like a business yeah. card case, but for all the uh, show that to... micro SD cards. Very nice. Huh. Has two extras in there for the extra cameras as well. Hmm. They really kind of hooked guys this whole went, thing up. Guys went above and beyond. Yeah. Uh, I'll that, see. That about it. Yeah. Looks like it. What yeah. are we? Uh, oh well, we've got a second package which they sent us with that uh, tripod. You know, I mean. Oh, assuming. It's yeah, it's a pretty safe. Or it's golf clubs, one or the other. Right? So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't play golf, obviously, because because they're a little short, I suppose. Leave that to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Add, right. a, uh, add another tripod to the mix. Yeah, yeah. like you know, our very uh, basic tripod we have back here. But so, yeah, we'll put this down. So I guess another thing we should mention is mm -hmm. on the Odyssey we use the zoom mic on top and attached. We've got the up camera now, so we're not going to be able to do that. I guess we're going to have to run our uh, Sennheiser Ambio on the mic stand from now on. Yeah, this. Um, 
Actually, what I really appreciate about this mic, it actually even says VR on it, which, uh, you know, it, it sounds silly, but it means yeah. that it's actually becoming more of a thing where people are even branding it specifically right. for it. So, so this yeah. mic lets us capture spatial audio. So you got 360 video, just think of it as 360 audio. You put on the headphones, you can actually hear it smells new. Where, <laughs> where everything is coming from, which in VR is a big deal. We need those... Uh, and not only visual, but audio cues to know which direction to look. And we need them for production because we need to kind of tell people where to look. And I suppose with this guy, we're probably going to, when this is getting mounted, we're going to have to get a bottom mount. I wonder if this tripod will allow us to put a bottom mount on there. We'll have to figure that out. It looks like there's an adjustment knob on here. It's going to prevent that. But um, we'll, we'll figure out a way to make sure that this gets mounted on there so uh, our audio guy doesn't strangle us. Can you believe this? This is incredible. Yeah, we so have the first one out in the yeah. wild. That's pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Honored. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some fun stuff with this. This is a, this is exciting. <laughs> there have been a lot of times where we've looked at uh, shots and we're like, all right, well, let's cut the shot off there because then there's gonna be something overhead. Um, or uh, we recently had uh, a, a sunrise shoot where some F-15s happened to fly above us. Um, would have been awful nice to have that off camera. It really would, yeah, because you know people are gonna be looking up for that. So um, I'll tell you what I can't wait to do is to try and figure out a way to fly this thing on a drone mm. upside it's, down. It's light enough. Yeah, I mean, I it mean, definitely is. There's actual handles built into it. Look at that. They really did think of everything on this guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you really, you guys must have worked closely with the Google team because it seems like you took care of almost every pain point we've had along the way. This is pretty exciting. Um, at least it has charge. Oh, it looks like it's got 50% on there. That'll do. All right, so How do we actually power it up? Well, it looks like there's a button here, so I'm going to first press it either. Do the uh, time-tested hold it down and <laughs> see if something happens? Something's happening. Oh, nope. uh, yes. Well, it says Ye Halo right on there. Okay, so let's see. This looks like it's got 17 little boxes. Each one, oh, so this is uh, each one of the cards reading, each one of the cameras reading. In real time? In, yeah, so it's actually saying ready and then processing. So as it's processing, it's counting them down. Man, the levels. I don't have to take the mini level with it. <laughs> do you have a level? Yeah. No, do you have a level? So it looks like, um, you know, with all these here, there's like a, a little arrow. Let's push this up. And uh, it looks like there's all the settings here. Um, there's a little Wi-Fi signal, which, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what that's doing right now. I wonder if you can hook that up. Maybe it's to connect to the Bluetooth device. I want to pull this out just yet um, and we've got different modes on here is there a play button on the LCD or are we just pressing the manual button there? I think we press this manual button when it's actually fired off of the, the modes you got video photo oh time-lapse video so you actually just set it right through the menu here um, <laughs> it's pretty awesome uh, flat color not to take anything away from the Odyssey. It, no, it's, uh, it's been great to us. We started out shooting, you know, the six camera rigs, multi camera, GoPro, uh, 3D printed rigs. Kind of a nightmare uh, if you won't try and stitch those things together. Yeah, made a lot of mistakes early on too. Yeah. But yes, the much one all thing we <laughs> knew we had to have was the cameras had to be synced. That was the huge one. So yeah. it's a stitching process, and that the stitching process, yeah. getting rid of that. So honestly, getting the Odyssey made doing production work possible for our clients because it gave us a almost perfect stitch every time. I mean, the quality's it's better ridiculous. than anything else yeah, It really out is there. ridiculously good. Um, I mean, the jump team has, it's an engineering marvel, really. <laughs> no, no, those guys are, and they're incredible. Like the most helpful group, you send them an email at any time, yeah. if anything's even slightly awry and it just gets done, so. Yeah, what used to take literally like over a month and hundreds of man hours stitching, they reduced down to, I mean, we started getting turnaround time in like six hours sometimes after the Absolutely footage ridiculous. was uploaded. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like before you'd even, you'd upload it at night, you'd wake up the next morning, your stitch was ready. Um, this actually, we could change the frame rate, it looks like as well. So we've got- um, how, how fast uh, can we get up to? 29.97 at two and a half K, 25, oh, crap. Um, I just uh, I, I jumped into a menu there, so it looks like uh, 29.97, 25, 2.5 k, 25 frames per second at 2.5 k. We got 59.94 at 1440 and 50 at 1440. Okay. 50. Interesting. Guess I'll have um, to do some experimenting. Yeah. 
Um, flat color mode, um, on or off, ISO levels we can change, um, EV and white balance. So I mean, some, some basic settings in here, but, um, and then we've got screen brightness. I guess maybe this is for the display itself. And that's another thing. Supposedly, uh, the heat is not going to be as big of an issue. When yeah. we had those outdoor shoots with the Odyssey, uh, things got hot. Yeah, and th this, um, I think, if I remember correctly, this is all like vented out specifically to dissipate that. Um, I mean, that's that's a big deal. Oh, it even has 17 in there. Okay, so that's 17. Are these other ones labeled? One is labeled. I saw earlier when I was. Yeah, it's right, right here yep. in front. So it's one and then 17, I guess, probably goes. Um, in a clockwise fashion around up to 16 and then bounce into the middle. Um, you want to fire off a shot in here? Sure. I mean, just to see what happens. <laughs> we'll put people in the table. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. no, might yeah. as well do it. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Okay. I think that works. I think that's right. No? Is it doing anything? Oh, it's actually, I, I think because I changed the settings, it's getting all the array ready again. Okay. Um, yeah, which the other one said, uh, uh, array ready. This one just goes through and shows you each card yeah, being I'm ready. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll get better information out of this LCD. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I mean, at, at least it's not reading it off that tiny little screen with, um, you know, black and white text. All right, I think we're ready. If that works. Oh. I see yep. blinking lights. Blinking lights. That means recording. <laughs> A universal sign for recording, blinking lights. Or self-destruct, one or the other. The Yi Halo right here in North Carolina. Yeah. In our hands. Pretty neat. Yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty incredible. Um, we're uh, you know, we're real fortunate to be able to, to share this with you guys, and, and um, you know, we're excited to ch test it out. Yeah. Can't wait to get out in the field and uh, see what we create. And thanks again to the Yi team. They really have created a, a fabulous product. And Google, of course. Uh, Google's VR team uh, to even making any of this stuff possible. Um, without their uh, jump platform, none of these things would even be, uh, we, we wouldn't even be close to this. So, thanks very much to everybody. Take care. See you soon.